William unexpectedly resigns when he finds out that Charles has been speaking with the Archbishop of Canterbury in order to get Harry back. The flight is already scheduled. Hello friends and welcome to the breaking royal news about the notorious hypocritical couple Harry and Meghan Markle on our Kate Middleton and the Queen News version 2 channel. According to the Mail on Sunday, the King has urged the Archbishop of Canterbury to mediate in order to reach a compromise so that Harry can attend his coronation, but William has refused. According to senior insiders close to Lambeth Palace, Charles wants Justin Welby to reach a compromise with his quarrelling sons so that Harry and his bride Meghan might attend the Westminster Abbey coronation in May. Since the Sussexes stepped down from their royal duties, there has been much speculation about whether they will attend the high-profile event. This is particularly after the publication of Harry's candid memoir, named Spare, earlier this month, which contained a series of hurtful attacks on senior members of the British royal family. This news coincides with rumours that Charles is considering conducting his own television interview prior to the coronation. The King is reportedly willing to make accommodations to convince Harry and Meghan to attend the coronation because he feels their absence would be more distracting than their attendance. William is reportedly worried that his brother may use the occasion to pull out a stunt that will overshadow the celebration. According to sources, Harry may get a formal promise that he would be able to maintain his titles or a high-profile seat in the Abbey as an incentive to go. William is worried that if Harry's visit isn't well planned, he may steal the show by, for instance, going on a walkabout with Meghan in a poor area of London. The heart of the matter, according to one source, is whether or not they attend the coronation and if so, how and with what restrictions? Because of the discord within the family and the hints that Harry is being instructed to play it along until the very last minute, discussions with him are proving to be exceedingly challenging. Harry's staff made it quite plain that the notion that he would just go to the coronation and behave himself only to have his titles taken away was a complete non-starter. He doesn't like the thought of being forced to give up his titles, even though he could choose to do so in the future. He feels unfairly grouped with Andrew as the two problem princes in the public's eye because of the circumstances are so alike, and this is according to Harry. The royal palaces of Lambeth and Buckingham declined to comment last night, and a source close to Prince William claimed to be unaware of any such discussions about the coronation. Soon after the Queen's passing in September, Mr Welby, who will preside over the wedding at Westminster Abbey, was the first requested to serve as a mediator between William and Harry. He previously became embroiled in the Sussex's soap opera when Meghan alleged during a television appearance that he had secretly wedded them before the public wedding in 2018. This compelled him to explain that the marriage was publicly seen as a valid union. In July 2019, he was compelled to skip the Church's General Synod in order to baptise the couple's son, Archie. Following the release of the Duke of Sussex's candid book, Spare, and the couple's Netflix docuseries, speculation has been swirling about Harry and Meghan's participation at the coronation. Royal sources claim that the king was livid by his son's assaults on the queen consort Camilla. Harry described Camilla as being dangerous and a villain in television interviews in order to promote his book, despite the king's dignified quiet on the accusations made in spare. Camilla was the bad guy, a third party in the marriage, and she needed to repair her reputation, according to the duke. Additionally, Harry alleged that William had physically assaulted him and that the palace had fabricated unfavourable media reports about Meghan. Harry has requested a meeting of the minds with his family, but only after they have expressed regret to him. Insiders are concerned that Charles may be questioned about Harry's accusations if he were to participate in a pre-coronation interview, 
because the king has not officially replied to them. The king will be the subject of a BBC documentary that will cover his life and goals for the country as a ruler. According to insiders who spoke to the Mirror, Charles is rumoured to be considering the interview invitation, but palace aides are supposedly worried about the line of questions. The insider noted that the issue is quite delicate and added that it is not customary to avoid subjects in interviews. Any criticism of the Sussexes would create international news, according to the insider, and may elicit a reaction from Harry and Meghan that would be unpredictable. The palace is aware of this. Charles also had the option of pre-recording material and providing it to the BBC, which would have given the palace editorial control. The insider claimed that the pre-recorded material will not address the Sussexes. According to a survey conducted last week, two-thirds of people believe that Harry should be invited to the coronation. However, the study showed a significant generational gap in sentiments, with 75% of those aged between 18 and 34 in favour of the Duke attending, compared to 47% of those over the age of 55. After Geoffrey Fisher in 1953, Mr. Welby will be the first Archbishop to crown a monarch, and he has revealed he is experiencing nightmares about the coronation going wrong. He stated, I believe two nights ago I dreamed that I had left the crown at Lambeth Palace and we had reached the point of placing the crown on the king's head. So, how did I get the crown to Lambeth Palace if the entire army is manning it? I'm clueless. But when I turned to look, I noticed that the king was staring at me. It was the worst. It is evident that it's weighing heavily on me. It's really a big honour and a privilege, and the coronation weekend will be a moment when the nation will come together to celebrate. Of course, there will be pressure, but it is a huge honour. To organise the ceremony which will take place on Saturday, May the 6th, the first day of a bank holiday weekend, the Cabinet Office has formed a coronation committee made up of government employees, royal representatives and Church of England representatives as well. Given the security concerns it presents, the Home Office will also be intimately involved in the arrangements. The King's procession, which will see the King and Queen Consort ride in the gold state coach from Buckingham Palace to the Abbey, will kick off the festivities. Over a thousand years ago, the coronation service was held, and for the last 900 years, it has been held in the Abbey. Charles will receive his crown, while Camilla watches from the coronation chair, a piece of furniture that goes back to the early 14th century. Charles will then be anointed and have the St. Edward's crown, which was constructed in 1661 for Charles II's coronation, put on his head. At the coronation, Prince William will also acquire additional titles, including that of the Prince of Wales. The Queen Mother's crown will be put on Camilla, who will then legally assume the title of Queen Consort. Charles and Camilla will then return to the palace following the ceremony and make an appearance on the balcony among other working members of the royal family. The next day, a performance, including British rock and pop legends, a choir of refugees, NHS employees and LGBTQ plus performers will take place at Windsor Castle and be televised on the BBC. In an occasion dubbed Lighting Up the Nation, sites all throughout the UK will be lighted with lasers, drone displays and more in the evening. The big help out will honour the contributions of volunteers on Monday. What do you think of Charles's stealthy action and William's timely response? Let us know what your thoughts are in the comments section below. We hope you have found this video helpful. Do not forget to leave a like. Share and subscribe to the channel if you are enjoying it. Now thank you for watching this newsletter. Goodbye and see you in the next videos.